Our founding families, the pioneers, Mr. Menlo, set a great example for all of us to learn from. But that was Mr. Menlo, he was a dreamer. Nothing gave him more pleasure than watching the school grow. When Mr. Sam Menlo arrived in Los Angeles after the Holocaust as the sole survivor of his family, he did not allow himself the luxury of being overwhelmed by his own misfortunes. My dream was just to put back a family. My whole family was wiped out, so I had to survive to build up a new family. Sam and Vera were determined not only to rebuild a family, but to recreate a Torah community. There was no school here for the children. Religious people wouldn't settle in this community unless there's a school. Together with Rabbi Isaacson and a handful of fellow survivors, he toiled and labored until the seeds took root and Yeshiva of Isaacson blossomed. Rabbi Isaacson, who was a very righteous person, we called a meeting of all the people who had children in this community and I immediately took steps to build it. Vera was a partner in life, not only in his vision, but in his actions as well. My wife always gave me the support. I came home from the meeting and I said, look down. I took a very big responsibility to build a school here. It wasn't easy at all, it was very hard. I spent every day, I went there had to see how the job is. The rabbi became very sick and he had to go to the hospital. I went into him and kissed his hand and told him, Rabbi Isaacson, I promised you a school, I built a school. He was a very righteous man. It was the amazing teamwork of Rabbi Isaacson's sacrifice Mr. Menlo's dreaming and the backing of the entire community that actually put La Brea on the map as a true Makam Torah. And I feel very proud. God gave me the knowledge to do something and I did it. We feel very comfortable that our children that have and are currently going to the school receive a very strong sense of Mesorah, a strong value system that connects it to previous generations all the way up to Har Sinai. The Rebbeim and Moras have been extremely dedicated in making sure that they're preparing the children with what they'll need, taking them through life. Besides for making sure that we know how to understand a piece of Gemara and know Chumash fluently, Rabbeim tell us stories on a daily basis to appreciate Yiddishkeit. Every Friday, Rabbi Kraus teaches us a lesson in Midas Taivais through a Devar Torah. At the Yeshiva, we strive to recognize the potential in every student, addressing the individual needs of every student, providing the skills and the tools and the self-confidence to lead a productive life both in Ruchnius and in Gashmius. What remains with them is not only the learning, but the enthusiasm, the sense of pride, and the joy that they had in being a Torah Semis Talmud. The Ruch and Torah Semis was fantastic. We loved coming to Yeshiva every morning. What inspired me at Torah Semis was my Rebbeim. Seeing the Hashivas of each and every one of the Rebbeim made me feel like I want to emulate them, I want to grow up to be a Talmud Chacham like them. Rabbi Krauss, Rabbi Goldenberg, they were very warm and caring. It's an overall environment that one really senses when they just walk through the hallways. Look at our weekly Erev Shabbos bulletin to be able to see the plethora of events and activities that are going on. This year alone, the junior high has gone to the Discovery Center at the Reagan Museum, went to the observatory, and has enjoyable weekly Matzi Shabbos programs. When I was going to Torah Semes, it was the only Heimer school in town. A community school, everyone knew each other. And what I got most, I think, is the tremendous sense of accountability and achrayas that everyone had in making sure the children got the best education. It had the resources needed. I think it had a tremendous impact on me 
and something that I try to do in my life. Mr. Sam Menlo served as president of the school for many years and helped carry its financial burden, thus enabling Torah Semis to become the major Mokam Torah it is today. He personally undertook the construction of our building at 540 North La Brea that today carries the Menlo family name. I will be graduating from Torah Semis this year. My father also graduated from Torah Semis. My grandfather and great-grandmother continued to support the yeshiva, and my great-grandfather, Zaidi Menlo, was a builder of this yeshiva. So I feel like I am a link in this very significant and important chain. I have vivid memories as a child of my grandfather's generation. He, along with Mr. Menlo and others, provided us with the school that we have today. They had a tremendous sense of pride of the yeshiva that they built. And I think that sense of pride came from the blood, sweat, and tears that they poured into the yeshiva. Having worn many hats here at Taras Emes, as a parent, grandparent, board member, educator, I'm very proud that one of my grandchildren carries Shimon Menlo's name. Mr. Sam Menlo, together with Vera, sacrificed for us, built for us, and pioneered for us. Now it's time for us to perpetuate this legacy of this extraordinary man and family. The greatest gift that I was given is to support my family, my grandchildren, my great-grandchildren. My wife, she is the best wife in the world. She's the best mother in the world. And she's the most wonderful, wonderful grandmother and great-grandmother. You see, the biggest thing God gave us and told us you have to have betuchum, this is the belief. And if you believe, then that will get you through. Shall meet, so it's what I'm here for. Shall meet all.